Why has this been such a great opportunity for you, Haley? Yeah, no, it's uh, it's a great opportunity. Uh, Kyle gave me a call uh, a couple months ago just uh, to explore the interest of coming to camp and uh, looking at uh, player development. So I was at the Oiler uh, development camp last year. I, I played in two development camps with the Philadelphia Flyers and uh, have been around uh, hockey a long time. So it's it's fun to be to be back in the game uh, here this week. I'm uh, learning a lot from uh, being around all the coaches and I've worked with some of them for a long time in the past too. So it's a familiar environment yeah. is your transition continues how important are these steps to eventually where you might want to be in your career yeah I think you know for me it's just a great opportunity to come and see what uh, you know what it's like here in in uh, in Leafland I guess in terms of the type of style and the type of game they want to play which is very similar to the way I th think about the game should be played and uh, with the, the individual player development the way they, they're uh, looking at players uh, with the Marlies and bringing up through the system so um, you can always learn something everywhere you go and uh, and maybe I have something to share with them as well would you, would you, sorry, go ahead. Do you think about coaching ever at the NHL level, perhaps, if that opportunity was there? I, 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 maybe sometimes. I guess it's it's hard to say. I think, you know, for me right now, I, I enjoy player development. I enjoy working with individual players, um, helping them with their game, and uh, standing behind the bench. That's probably a first for me, and uh, being out of my career. And uh, it is kind of nice to be back in the game, though. You kind of get into it a little bit. How yeah. would you describe the level of respect you're getting from these kids? Oh, it's first class. I mean, I've never, I've never had an issue. Um, I think the first day one of them came up, I have a lot to learn from you too. So I've got an 18 year old son at home and uh, I kind of know the mentality of, of the, this uh, age group and, and these kids and what they're going through. And uh, they've been great. They're a lot of fun to work with. Can you yeah. assess that uh, Becky Hammond is having in the NBA as just promoted in fact yesterday yeah. on uh, Coach Popovich's staff. How close do you think we are in the National Hockey League to having a female um, being on the bench, be, uh, this is, like, we have some yeah. skating coaches, but, but yeah. truly being on the main side. Well, I think hockey's probably um, behind in all pro sports in that area, to be honest. I think that, um, you know, there are maybe a couple of women that I could see that would have the ability and, and maybe the interest to do it. So I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. It's more getting around the tradition and, and sort of the culture that exists in hockey, which is not easy uh, at this level for a woman to break into. So you have to be the right kind of person, the personality, you have to have the skill set and the experience to do it. And uh, I think we'll see it at some point in time. It's got to be a progressive organization. But I think, um, you know, with Kyle here in the Leafs, he wants to think differently and do things differently. And I, um, you know, I think that's that's good for the the game. It's good for the team in general. What are some of the things that stand out to you about how they are trying to do things differently here? It seems like you do a lot of video with the players and that kind of thing, filming everyone. Yeah, I think that, uh, just generally uh, individual skill development, looking at uh, each player as an individual and what they can bring and what they need to improve. Um, it, you know, using skills coaches, skating coaches. Uh, just really uh, every aspect of the player's life, I think, is what's being looked at here, um, where in today's game you have to do that. It's every little detail matters at this level, and that, that's what separates winning and losing. So I think you combine that with really good coaching and philosophy and a style of game that you want to play, which is uh, you know, a pressure puck style. I think that that's uh, a success in, this t in today's hockey. Knowing as much as you already do about the game, what have you learned about development and coaching itself from a camp like this? Well, I, I think you always take a piece of wherever you've played, and I've had so many unique experiences through the years, whether it's playing in Europe. I've, you know, like I said, I've been in NHL camps. I've been with the women's team. There's a lot of what we do on the national team that, um, you know, I think could be applied here at the NHL level and, and vice versa. Um, and I think it's just exchanging ideas. I spend a lot of time, you know, today watching an hour and a half of clips with the coaches, just going through different styles and ideas. And that's really where I think the magic is when you're trying to develop players and, and win. Has there been one kind of teaching moment that stood out on the ice with any of the kids yet for you in the, the past few days that you could tell you made a, a bit of a, an impact with? It, uh, that's a good question. I, I, I don't know if there's been one moment, but I think uh, the moment when they turn and look at you for feedback or for some sort of um, idea about what just happened, that's when you know that you know, they're interested to know what you have to say and, and they want to learn. And that's generally what I've found being here is that they're very you know, open and receptive. And, and sometimes maybe it's awkward for them to want to approach me. Uh, it's a different environment for them as well. So it's a bit of both. You know, I try to, to make myself approachable and, and willing to, to speak to them. And, and then you get into a dialogue and it's a lot of fun after that. The uh, Hall of Fame inductions announced on Tuesday. How much thought do you give that uh, about potentially uh, one day getting there yourself after your own career? 
I don't really think about it. I'm very happy uh, for Jana Hefford. I think it, it's an absolute no-brainer. She was you know, one of the top five greatest players, I think, to ever play the game and always a difference maker. She scored big goals for us uh, with the national team for so many years, so I'm very happy and, and she's the right player that, that should be in there next. So um, there'll be more women as, as years go on. I think that's, that's inevitable and uh, you know, if my day comes, that's great. Hey, Lee, has, have the U.S. passed Canada right now? Are, are we chasing them as a country? I know it's a fine line. <laughs> <laughs> nice question. Um, <laughs> but it's close, isn't it? Uh, I, I think in some, in some respects, yes. I think that um, uh, we have to elevate um, within the program. We have to think differently. We have to look at the way that we're playing the game, the way that we're developing players, um, if we want to be successful in the next uh, four, eight, 12 years to come. So uh, I, I do think that the U.S. was a better team. Um, however, when it comes down to a gold medal game, uh, Canada could have could have just as easily won that. But I'd like to see, uh, you know, the country that decides to elevate and really separate. I think is the country that will make the next big step and dominate. What is the next step for you from here? Do you see? Um, I, I think for me, it's uh, you know, I'll continue to have the conversation with Kyle as to you know what uh, what they might be interested in after this. We've talked a few times, and um, if there's uh, you know a role for me here, then that's great. Moving forward, I, I'd be interested to see what happens and stay stay in hockey. That would be that would be fun to to do that uh, and see where it takes me. I guess at this point. Anything you can share that you and Kyle talked about, but potentially what might be available? <laughs> uh, no, you know, the, the best thing about Kyle, I think I find in my uh, experience with him, is that he's very open to um, diverse thinking. He thinks that, uh, you know, I think that they've left a lot on the table in terms of new ideas or exchanging ideas, which is why they're bringing in a lot of different people from all over. And, and so I think he's very open to exploring a lot of different ways to make the team better and, and also um, the development of the players coming up. So I really appreciate that. I think that that's um, a winning attitude and uh, it's something that I like to be around. You still work yeah. on your medical degree? So I am, yes. I'm, uh, I'm still uh, planning to, to go to medical school as well. So uh, yeah, that's another factor to deal with as well.